The hardest thing about this career field is balance. Balancing your work time, your family time, even your own personal time. It's difficult to maintain a steady schedule sometimes. And a lot of that is just because the missions that we're involved with and the jobs that we do are constantly changing. You may be asked to come in one day at 0600 and then the next day you're showing up at 1800 for a 12 hour shift after that. Having the ability to adapt to those changes is really important because you are not gonna be effective in performing the mission unless you know that your family's taken care of and that aspect of your life is squared away. If I am not in a deployed location, I'll be flying training missions two, sometimes up to three times a week. And then when you do get to do some temporary duty locations, you could be going to a different state or even a different country. Members in this career field can have a huge impact on the overall Air Force mission. When you can directly say that your technical expertise saved a mission, I think that's the rewarding part of this job. I find it very satisfying to, to fix complex system errors. It could take a while to resolve those, but I don't want to give up. You know, someone's relying on me and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing. When I'm able to successfully fix that, even if it takes hours, that's pretty cool. The thing I find most rewarding is that there's instant job satisfaction. For instance, if the vice president needs to call the president and you make the phone call, they have a successful talk. The vice president comes up and says, thank you. I was able to accomplish what I needed to do. The security clearance process is a long one. You're going to get your forms that you need to fill out and turn into the security manager. Once you fill all those out, you'll start being investigated for your security clearance. Depending on your background, it could take a long time. Waiting to go through the security clearance process is challenging for a lot of airmen because you know, you're seeing the other airmen that you came through training with, if they've got their security clearance, then they are going on missions, doing what you've been training to do, and, and that's tough. Being a new air crew member and dealing with high-ranking individuals can be a little daunting at first. But it's important that an airman is able to communicate because they're relying on you to be the subject matter expert. It is difficult for some of the younger airmen to be more assertive with the higher ranking authorities. But when you're on the jet, you are a qualified crew member and you are doing your job. If you say that this needs to be done or this cannot be done because you're the expert in that, then that's what it is and you have to be able to own that.